Welcome. All right, so what I'm going to do is kind of explain to you where exactly does the distance formula come from? Because, you know, having a good understanding of, you know, one being the distance formula will, will help you be able to apply it to different situations that maybe not might be as saying, hey, use this formula for this type of problem. So let's kind of, you know, take a look here at um, two kind of examples here, actually, first of all. Let's take a look at a number line, first of all. And let's say here's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then let's take a look at a coordinate plane, which is pretty much two number lines, one horizontal, one vertical. Um, and then we'll have two points here. So this point is x, y. And then we'll have a point over here, which I'll call x, y as well, since they're both coordinate points, x, y. And the last thing I want to discuss is a right triangle. OK, so first thing, let's kind of go back through some basic understanding of how to find the distance between two points. And to do that, let's go ahead and pick two points that are on a number line. Now, if I have a point 2 and 5, now obviously one of the easiest distances to find, if I say, what's the, dip, what's the distance between 2 and 5, you could easily just say 1, 2, 3, right? That's one of the most basic things you looked at. But you know, what, if I, um, what if this was a little bit more difficult? I gave you two numbers that were not on another line, but I said, what exactly is the distance? Well, you're not going to want to say 2 minus 5, because that would be negative 3. And the distance between these two is not negative 3. So what we do is we kind of, if I say the distance between 2 and 5, we take that second point and we say, what about if I said 5 minus 2? that equals 3. So you can see that to find the distance between two values, I'm going to be subtracting them to find the difference in between. The next thing is understanding this um, quadratic formula. And the quadratic formula happens when we have a right triangle. You have to have a right triangle, meaning we have a right triangle, we have a right angle. So now that we have a right angle and now a right triangle, we, there are two different, types of, um, two different types of sides. You can either part, be part of the leg which are going to be the two sides that make up the 90 degree angle, or you can be the hypotenuse, which is the side across from my angle. So the basic you know, general understanding is a squared, or let's call that a, b, and c, where a and b are the legs, and c is the hypotenuse. So the Pythagorean theorem states that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Right? All right. So now let's use this information that we know and go ahead and take a look at two coordinate points. If I wanted to figure out what these two coordinate points are, or I'm sorry, the distance between these two coordinate points, we know that the, quick, the fastest way between two different points is a straight line, right? So we're going to draw a straight line. All right, now the next thing I need to do is I need to be able to differentiate between x and y. Because if I say, what's x? You could say it's the x up there, or you could say it's the x over there. So I'm going to differentiate, but I'm going to say that's x1, that's x2. This is y1. That's y2. So we use those subscripts to differentiate between the two points. Now, to find the distance, right, we need to subtract. You could say you are subtracting the point. You subtract the values like we did on a number line. But the problem is we don't have a number line that's in that diagonal, right? We only have number lines that are horizontal and vertical. So technically, what I'm going to want to do is I want to find, if I want to find the difference between the x coordinates, that's going to tell me the distance between them horizontally. Let's make that a little bit better. And if I wanted to find the distance between the y coordinates, that's going to tell me the distance between these two points Chief Burnett, please call the main office. vertically. Chief Burnett, please call the main office. Well, the one thing we notice about horizontal and vertical lines, they obviously create 90 degree angles, right? So this is going to create a right triangle. Therefore, I can now say that, um, and let's call the di this here d. So what is the distance between these two, between x1 and x2? We go back to this. You subtract. So I can say x2 minus x1. And then what is, I'm sorry, the distance between these two would be y2 minus y1. And the distance horizontally is going to be x2 minus x1. So therefore, now, if I have a right triangle and I have at least an expression to represent the chain, uh, the distance, and vertically, and the chain, an expression to represent the um, the difference horizontally. I can use the Pythagorean theorem, which the Pythagorean theorem would say. Let's do the horizontal first. X two minus x one squared plus y two minus y one squared equals 
d squared. Now, obviously, for the distance formula, we're trying to find d. So I need to undo that. And I'm going to take the square root of both sides. Therefore, d equals the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. And usually when we introduce the, plus, um, the square root, it's plus or minus. But since this is d, which is distance, it's always going to be a positive. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is where the distance formula comes from. Thanks.